Hey, what's up guys? Dave here. My wife and I are the owners of Simon and Bumbles the Cats, who you normally see on this channel, but in this video, we're doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna be reviewing this brand new product from Perfect Portal called Meow Manor, which is a door that gets installed at the base of your door. <laughs> Thank you, Bubbles. Uh, inside your house so that the cats can get through the door and you can still keep the door shut closed. They are sponsoring this video, so thank you to them for that. And there's a link in the description below, so feel free to check it out and see if you like the product for yourself. I'm gonna give a quick overview of the product, then I'm gonna show how to install it, and then we'll see how the cats like it. Well, like I said, it goes, it gets installed at the base of a door inside your house. Um, gives a nice smooth edge, and then your cat will be able to walk through the door. And we'll see if Bubbles can demonstrate. No, she demonstrate. <laughs> So it's useful for a few different situations. Uh, one might be if you keep litter boxes in the closet, you can then put this at the base of the door and now you keep the door shut and the cats can still get to it to use the litter boxes, keeps them out of sight. And in our case, we have a door to our basement that we always keep open just a little bit uh, so that the cats can get down to the basement and come back up. Uh, the problem with that is every time I come around this corner, boom, there's the door right in my face. and. It just kind of gets in the way, it's not a clean look. I don't really necessarily want to look down in my basement every time. But once this is installed, it'll sit nice and flush and we'll be able to close the door and then the cats will be able to keep getting access down to the basement. One last thing about this product that's pretty cool is it has this little door itself um, with a little latch. So this little doorknob turns, um, you can open it wide open like this and then your cats will be able to go in and out. And if for some reason you didn't want them to be able to get through the door, you can close it and the latch closes the door shut. <laughs> kind of a clever idea. So let's go check out the door and see what we're working with. All right, so here's the door that we need to take off of the hinges. And then we will cut the opening at the base. We got Simon um, wondering why the door is shut. It's normally open, like I said, and he's happy to go down. <laughs> So anyway, yeah, we're gonna take it off the hinges right here. I'm gonna find a nice flat surface and we will cut the hole in it. So first thing we gotta do is take these pins out. I recommend starting at the bottom. Uh, this one's coming right out, which is great. Um, the top one, I was having a little more trouble, but I used these vice grips and that did the job. Now moving the door to where I'll be working on it. So I've got the door placed on a nice firm surface here. Um, I read through the instructions that come with it. Very detailed, very helpful. Um, and now we're just gonna cut out this stencil right here. Uh, and then I will draw the outline onto the door before I cut it. So step one, I need to cut these lines here. Hey Bubbles. Good Bubbles. Hey Bubbles, good Bubbies. See we got Bubbles here to help me. Thank you Bubbles. Now I just need to mark out the center line of the door. We've got a 30 inch door, so I'm just gonna go right to 15 and make a little mark here. I've got the stencil lined up, now we just trace along the edge here. Perfect. Now we cut. I got my opening marked out here. I'm on a nice firm table, clear underneath, and here is my jigsaw. We're gonna go in for the cut. I cleaned up, I've flipped the door over here and I'm gonna put the simple arch in first. The one with the door will go on the front of the door, which for us will be in the hallway. I will do that one second though. So once this is nice and lined up, um, I started a screw here in the middle and you could just do it by hand. It probably wouldn't take too long, but I'm gonna use this drill because I have it and you might as well. You gotta make sure not to over tighten it, but you do wanna make sure you get it in snug. Those are most of the way in and I'm just gonna snug it up with the screwdriver here. Put in these little caps, nice and clean look. So the back one's installed, now I'm just gonna flip it over and we'll do the front side. All right, so I flipped the door over again. This is now the front side and we're now gonna put on the front of the Meow Manor. We have the door opens outward, as you can see. And the first thing I gotta do is line it up, make sure you're nice and centered on the door, uh, which it is. I started one of the screws at the top here um, just to get a little grip there and I'm going to use my screw gun once again because I have it and it's much quicker. You just want to get it to grab, you don't want to over tighten it. 
give it a nice feel with the screwdriver. Putting in these caps here into these holes. And there we go. So the door is mostly installed here. Uh, the last thing I gotta put on is this door stopper. So when this opens, here we got the latch, it opens up. Um, this will go behind the door and it's gonna anchor it so it'll keep it held like this so it's not swinging and getting in the way. Um, another clever idea by Perfect Portal to come up with that. So to put the door stopper on, um, I read in the directions how to do it. Uh, you close the door to start and first thing you do is you take it out of the package. There is uh, two-sided tape on the back of the door stopper. So you take off the protective layer and I'm gonna just put it over the doorknob as if it's gonna sit against the wall. So that clicks into place just like that. And then we just open the door just like that and give it a nice firm push. And now I'm gonna hold it and pull the door away just like that. And now I just put a screw in the hole and that'll keep it anchored there. And I think that's pretty good. I'll give it a little test here. Yeah, holds it open, perfect. All right, so the door is, is all complete. All I gotta do is hang it back up. Um, first thoughts are uh, pretty easy installation. I gotta say, I cut the opening, put the screws in, pretty simple. Um, now I just gotta hang the door back up. All right, all finished up. Installation was pretty easy. I like the way it looks, nice and clean. And when I come around this corner now, I won't have to worry about walking into that door. So I do recommend the product. Like I said, there's an affiliate link in the description on Amazon. It's got a lot of great reviews. Um, they seem like a great company, Perfect Portal. I'm, I'm a fan. So feel free to check it out for yourself. And now we'll see what the cats think of it. I think they'll be fans, but let's take a look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Once again, the product is called Meow Manor made by Perfect Portal. There's a link down in the description of this video, which I encourage you to check out. It'll bring you to their product page on Amazon, which has a lot of info about them as a company. They have a lot of great reviews and I've had a good experience and I'm a fan. So until next time, have a great rest of your day. Bubbles and I say goodbye.